Hi and welcome everyone to our lesson in uh, wind energy course. In this lesson, we would like to discuss the different types of wind turbines and which one should we use in electricity generation. So the first thing is that we have two main types of wind turbines. Okay, so we have the vertical axis wind turbines uh, or denoted by VAWT, the vertical axis wind turbine. And second type is the horizontal axis wind turbines. Okay, so what is the difference between the vertical axis wind turbines and the horizontal axis wind turbine? These are classified by the axis of the main axle that the blades are attached to. If the axis is horizontal, then it will be named as a horizontal axis wind turbine. If the axle is uh, vertical, then it will be vertical axis wind turbine. Okay, so let's understand this in a very simple way. So the vertical axis means we have a vertical axis like this one. Okay, and our blades, the rotor blades are rotating around this axis. So if this is the case, then we will have a vertical axis wind turbine, like this one, vertical axis wind turbine, vertical axis wind turbine. As you can see, th this are the blades. This are the blades, the blades or the rotor blade. These blades are rotating around a vertical axis. Okay, as you can see here, we have a vertical axis and they are rotating around it. Same as here, you can see they are rotating around a vertical axis. That's why this type is called the vertical axis wind turbine. Okay, very easy. Now, if this axis, instead of having a vertical axis, we have a horizontal axis of rotation. So we have a horizontal axis and our blades are rotating around it. As you can see here, we have the horizontal axis, this axis, like this, and this blades rotating around it, like this one. This one is called the vertical axis, uh, horizontal axis wind turbine. You can see here, you can see here that the axis of rotation is like this, horizontal, okay? And these blades are rotating around it, like this, rotating around it, like this. Okay, that's why this is called a horizontal axis wind turbine. Okay, so I hope that the difference between these two types is clear. This one is called a horizontal axis wind turbine. So as you can see, the horizontal axis, vertical axis, okay, and their components. You can see we have rotor blades, blades, and the distance from the, this blade to this blade is called the rotor diameter. Okay, then it is attached to a generator to uh, generate electricity. Okay, we will discuss the other components in the course. Okay, now for the, this is called a vertical axis, rotating around this vertical axis. From here to here, it is called rotor height, not rotor diameter. Here, rotor height attached to a generator here, which generates electricity. So remember, vertical axis generator here, Horizontal axis, the generator here, okay? Now, let's discuss each of these uh, wind turbines and which one should we use. The vertical axis wind turbine, all of this inside the slide, you can see this is called a vertical axis. Vertical axis, and this blades rotates around it. You can see vertical axis and the blades rotating around it. So as you can see, all of this are vertical axis with different types, okay? Uh, each of these has its own design, which will generate different power, okay? Now, distance from here, from this blade to here is called the rotor height, okay? From here to here, okay? And this is the blade. This blade is the one which is rotating. So the axis of rotation is vertical again. Now, what are the advantages of using the vertical axis wind turbine? The first thing is that it is omnidirectional. What does omnidirectional mean? It means it operates in all wind directions. 
so whatever the direction of the wind it will give power okay so it does not need to adjust it to the direction of the wind okay it operates in every direction of the wind also as you can see the components of this vertical axis wind turbine are on the ground are mounted on the ground as you can see here here we have the gearbox and the generator okay so what is the benefit of this it is very simple is that we can go here and do the maintenance as we need so it leads to low maintenance cost, low maintenance cost and lightweight towers okay this tower is light have a lightweight why because the generator is not aboard here it is downward here so since there's a generator here we can uh, low cost of maintenance we can do the maintenance easily and the weight of this tower is uh, light finally it is uses it is uses less material to capture the same amount of wind compared to the horizontal axis wind turbine okay so those are the different advantages of the vertical x first it can uh, absorb or operate in all wind directions it generates electricity in all directions of wind number two we have a low cost of maintenance since the generator is on the ground and the light weight of tower so this will lead to less material to get the same amount of wind compared to the horizontal axis now let's see the disadvantages first thing the blades are close to the ground as you can see here the blades these blades are very close to the ground now what does this lead to this means that the wind speed will be very small low compared to uh, leading to low generation of electricity now we will discuss this that the um, velocity of wind velocity of wind is directly proportional to the height okay with a certain factor which we will discuss called alpha okay but for now you have to know that as the height or the elevation increases the velocity of wind will increase so for example the wind velocity here v1 and velocity here v2 okay v2 so v2 will be greater than v1 okay because h2 the height at which here here is higher than h1 here h1 here okay so as the height increases the more velocity which we will have okay so since we have this blades this blades are very close to the ground okay so this will lead to a low speed of wind which will mean low generation of electricity remember that also the electricity generation the amount of power generated as we will see inside the course the equation depends on the velocity cube the cubic of the velocity okay so as the velocity increase more power are generated so the close to the ground leads to low generation of electricity second uh, problem is that we don't take advantage of the higher wind speed at very high elevation such as we said now as well as the horizontal axis wind turbine the horizontal axis wind turbine are at are having a very high uh, very large height compared to the horizontal axis which are close to the ground which will lead to higher wind speed leading to higher generation of electricity also due to the a low speed and uh, high uh, large weight of blades this will lead to poor self-starting capabilities why due to the we need large starting or we have large starting torque we need a lot of wind speed in order to start rotating this blades now this also another problem of the vertical axis is that in order to change the bearing the bearings inside our mechanical system we need to remove all of these plates which will lead to high cost of maintenance also you will find that it needs support at the top of the rotor okay you can see here at this point you can see this line and this one and this one all of this are support to fix this uh, vertical axis wind turbine and to prevent it from falling down okay 
Uh, this, of course, due to all of these problems, you will find that it is not successful commercially uh, and overall performance, poor performance and reliability of this vertical axis wind turbines. Okay, so this will lead us to understanding the horizontal axis. The horizontal axis wind turbine, as you can see here, rotating around a horizontal axis. First thing you will notice is that the height here is high compared to the horizontal uh, to the vertical axis wind turbine the vertical axis was for example at this height however here since it we have a higher height leads to higher generation of electricity now the axis of rotation as we said before it is horizontal now there are two types of horizontal axis wind turbines one which is called the upwind type and the downwind type Upwind, it means that this blades or the um, the blades itself which are rotating are facing the wind. Downwind means that the blades are behind the wind. Now, as you can see here, for example, the blades here, the wind is coming in this direction, like this, coming like this. So these blades are facing the wind. So it's called the upwind type. Now, the downwind, when the uh, is not facing or behind the blades, you can see these blades are, the wind is behind these blades, okay? So, it's called downwind, okay? Now, of course, the upwind, of course, is better because uh, all of the uh, air will cause the rotation or the wind will cause the rotation of this turbine. However, here, due to the uh, interaction with this part due to this will lead or frictional force will lead to a decreasing of the velocity leading to lower generation of electricity okay also you can find that the, the horizontal axis wind turbines have a different number of blades it can be a single blade one blade or two blades or three blades or a multi-bladed turbines so we will discuss which one of these is better and which one of these which we can use in another video or another lesson of course okay now the upwind again faces the wind and there is no shadowing effect however the downwind is behind behind the wind and it's affected by the shadowing effect okay the shadowing effect, it means that the effect of the components, which will reduce the speed of wind, okay, leading to lower generation of electricity. So we should always, always try to face, take the uh, uh, blades and face it towards the wind, okay. So as you can see here, the uh, blades are, takes only the wind which is coming in its direction, okay. However, the vertical axis can operate in any direction. Okay, as you remember. Now, the advantages of the horizontal axis wind turbine. First, it has a high efficiency. Second thing is that it has a format of large towers. As you can see, large towers. Very large height. Which means it will be exposed to high wind speeds or velocities. Which means more power are generated compared to the vertical axis wind turbine. Also, it has a self-starting due to the places of high speed and light weight of the blades, leading to um, low starting torque. However, this advantage of the horizontal axis wind turbine, first, as you can see, the components, generator and gearbox are placed on the top of the tower, leading to difficulty in maintenance. Second thing is that it is difficult in installation. You need to carry this plate, which can be very large, across the city. And of course, due to the very large height, it can lead to interference with radio waves and TV waves. Finally, the tall towers, these larger towers, will lead to environmental problems. One of these problems is that the birds, uh, during the migration, it can uh, or uh, during traveling from one location to another, the birds can can be killed by these blades. Okay, the birds traveling from one location to another can be killed due to the presence of these blades. So as a result, as a result of this, 
these blades well uh, we need to shut off these blades in order to protect the environment okay so however the vertical axes are in a lower height which does not uh, you uh, cause environmental problems now the most important thing is that we discuss the vertical and we discuss the horizontal now our question is should we use the horizontal axis or the vertical axis in electricity generation the answer is is that the vertical axis wind turbine is easier to design and maintain however it provides lower performance compared to the horizontal axis due to the low height and the large weight of the blades and also uh, the horizontal axis are provided at a higher height means large generation of electricity due to the presence of high wind speed so in the end in the end our wind turbines most of our wind turbines generating electricity today commercially or domestically are horizontal axis machines okay that's why this one which we are going to to use in the uh, wind energy course okay so uh, should we select horizontal or vertical we select the horizontal axis wind turbine because they are used commercially and most of our wind turbines are horizontal axis wind turbine so that is the answer of the question the answer is horizontal axis wind turbines